At least 13 original copies of the Charter of 1215 were issued by the Royal Chancery during that year. Seven in the first tranche distributed on 24 June and another six later. They were sent to county sheriffs and bishops, who were probably charged for the privilege. Slight variations exist between the surviving copies, and there was probably no single, master copy of these documents. Only four survive, all held in England, two now at the British Library, one at Salisbury Cathedral, and one, the property of Lincoln Cathedral on permanent loan to Lincoln Castle. Each of these versions is slightly different in size and text, and each is considered by historians to be equally authoritative. The two 1215 charters held by the British Library, known as Cotton M.S. Augustus II. 106 and Cotton Charter 13. 31 A were acquired by the antiquarian Sir Robert Cotton in the 17th century. The first had been found by Humphrey Wyams, a London lawyer, who may have discovered it in a tailor's shop, and who gave it to Cotton in January 1629. The second was found in Dover Castle in 1630 by Sir Edward Deering. The Deering Charter was traditionally thought to be the copy sent in 1215 to the Sink Ports. But in 2015 the historian David Carpenter argued that it was more probably that sent to Canterbury Cathedral, as its text was identical to a transcription made from the cathedral's copy of the 1215 charter in the 1290s. This copy was damaged in the Cotton Library fire of 1731, when its seal was badly melted. The parchment was somewhat shriveled but otherwise relatively unscathed. An engraved facsimile of the charter was made by John Pine in 1733. In the 1830s, an ill-judged and bungled attempt at cleaning and conservation rendered the manuscript largely illegible to the naked eye. This is the only surviving 1215 copy still to have its great seal attached. Lincoln Cathedral's copy has been held by the county since 1215. It was displayed in the common chamber in the cathedral, before being moved to another building in 1846. Between 1939 and 1940 it was displayed in the British Pavilion at the 1939 World Fair in New York City, and at the Library of Congress. When the Second World War broke out, Winston Churchill wanted to give the charter to the American people, hoping that this would encourage the United States, then neutral, to enter the war against the Axis powers. But the cathedral was unwilling, and the plans were dropped. After December 1941, the copy was stored in Fort Knox, Kentucky, for safety before being put on display again in 1944 and returned to Lincoln Cathedral in early 1946. It was put on display in 1976 in the cathedral's medieval library. It was displayed in San Francisco, and was taken out of display for a time to undergo conservation in preparation for another visit to the United States where it was exhibited in 2007 at the Contemporary Art Center of Virginia and the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia. In 2009 it returned to New York to be displayed at the France's Tavern Museum. It is currently on permanent loan to the David P. J. Ross Vault at Lincoln Castle, along with an original copy of the 1217 Charter of the Forest, the fourth copy held by Salisbury Cathedral, was first given in 1215 to its predecessor, Old Sarum Cathedral, rediscovered by the cathedral in 1812. It has remained in Salisbury throughout its history, except when being taken off-site for restoration work. It is possibly the best preserved of the four, although small pinholes can be seen in the parchment from where it was once pinned up. The handwriting on this version is different from that of the other three. 
suggesting that it was not written by a royal scribe but rather by a member of the cathedral staff, who then had it exemplified by the royal court.